welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner, and we are back for another Get Fit With Me series presents accountability. And I do apologize, I did not have anything up last week because the weekend wore me out. <laughs> Be fully transparent. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to kind of get you caught up what's going been going on with me, along with um more things to come. So um for those who didn't check out any of my other Get Fit With Me series presents accountability, which was like not last Monday, but the Monday before, I did complete my Soldier Field 10 miler. I did that. I ran it at an okay time. It wasn't the best time as far as, um, I want to say I wish I was able to run it quicker, but I knew it wasn't going to be the best because again, I'm recovering from an injury. Um, I injured myself back while I was in Puerto Rico. Um, so I was happy to get it done and run it relatively pain free. And I was only 12 minutes slower overall. And that's for 10 miles. So that's, so that's actually not bad. It actually was not my worst time. <laughs> I've done much worse on that race, but I've done better. So I was overall okay with the time. Um, and then this past weekend, um, I also had a 10K that I did. Um, and another feat that I did this past weekend was I ran three days in a row. I haven't ran three days in a row since before I got injured. Um, so it's been a minute and I was able to do it just fine. I was actually okay with my 10 K time because that was my third day of running. And also too, I was hung over. I probably had no business running, but I got it done and I overall was okay with the time. Now, it's not close to any of the times I've done before. And one thing I will say that I've been trying to keep my spirits up when it comes to that. Because I know based off of everything that happened last year. And along with the shortcoming I just had this year. I am treating this like I'm starting all over again. Mentally, I have to do that in order to keep myself motivated. And that's what we're going to do with it. And also, too, this is my first year in the master's division. So everything I do is a PR. <laughs> like, and if you have that mindset, you're fine. And for me, I have to do that just for the sheer fact that some of my times that I used to run, I don't, I don't see me ever being able to run those kind of times ever again. Because I ran those times when I was like 24. Okay. <laughs> and I already know I know spring chicken. And my corporate day-to-day -day job where I sit down all day is counterintuitive and counter, it, it doesn't work for me being able to get back to that. When I was running those times, I worked at a gym. I was literally in the best shape of my life because I worked at a gym. And then besides working at a gym, I also was a server. So I was constantly on my feet, constantly moving around. So, you know that made a difference and i feel like for a lot of people who are on their feet more who aren't sitting down as much um longevity wise for distance running it probably helps them you know having a sit down job where you're not you know as mobile and having this it, it kind of does make a difference so one thing that i've decided i am going to do um not I would say within the next year or so when I move, most likely, um, the desk that you see here, I will not be using this desk anymore for work. I am going to get myself a stand-up desk. Uh, I'm also going to get me one of those walking treadmill things so I can walk and work at the same time. Um, I've just decided it needs to happen. <laughs> I, you know, I can't. I can't, the, the sedentary thing, I don't like it. And I and haven't liked it. Um, I think when I worked in the office, it was easier for me to stay active. Um, and, you know, when I had a job that wasn't as high demanding, it was so much easier to stay active. I have a job that's way more high demanding. So me staying at my desk has became a new habit. Um, I have incorporated trying to make sure I get 10,000 steps average a day. So when you see the end of the week, you'll see 70,000 steps. Um, I did it last week. 
And then the weekend before that, I was able to do that. So two weekends in a row, I've been pretty good about it. And I'm going to try to continue that trend coming this week as well. Um, I have a 14-mile run I'm going to be doing this weekend. Um, and then I also have um, a long bike ride I'm going to try to do because triathlon season has officially started. So this hair, as much as I love the blonde, we're going to see her back. We'll see her again in August. Uh, she has to go. She has to go. Um, I got to get back to business. So, um, yeah. So what's going to happen now? Oh, by the way, I will say the past two weeks, I ran four times in a row. Last week was a week. Um, so last week, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's, let's rewind. So last week was the first week of my ultra marathon training. I'm training for 50K. I was able to get my four runs in successfully. I didn't shortcut it. I got the exact distance I needed to get. And then this week, we've been good so far. We've ran two times. I just got to run two more times. So I'm running tomorrow. And then I'm going to run either on Saturday or Sunday. Um, I'm thinking Saturday would make the most sense. Um, I am a little bit of a time crunch when it comes to Saturday. So I'm going to wake up early um, Saturday morning to get the run in. Um, because I do have to be um, downtown <laughs> to um, catch the, the metro, which is a suburb train that we have here for those who are not familiar with Chicago, um, to get go to Celebration Alive. So um, that's going to be kind of the thing about that. Um, and then Sunday, I'll probably do the bike ride along with going to the gym. I think I might reverse the run in the bike ride now that I say that, though, because I'm pretty sure Sunday is supposed to be cooler. And the past two days I've ran, so I ran yesterday, I ran the day before. It's been the 80s, and it's been really, really hot. <laughs> well, one day it was muggy, and then yesterday it was just hot. Um, I did it, but it wasn't the most quality run that I could have gotten. Um, but anyway, I'm just, I'm glad that I'm back out there. I'm glad that I'm back to being motivated, because I definitely do feel motivated again. And the other thing that I've decided I'm going to do is I am cutting back even more in the drinking. Because um, I've, only, I'm, I'm, I've only been drinking twice a week, for those who are not aware. Um, which is huge, because somehow, I'm sure it's like this for a lot of y'all folks, during the pandemic, the, the number, it went up. <laughs> um, so this is how some of the weight came on. Actually, that's how a lot of it came on. It was a combination of that and stress. I eat healthy. I eat pretty healthy. So it wasn't the food. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> we're going to be down to, I think we're cutting it down to once a week now. Um, maybe twice, but we're not going to overdo it. Um, and not so much on the beer. I got to cut back on the beer. As much as I love my good tasty craft beers, it is becoming too much. I went to like a German fest type situation last weekend, last Sunday, and I was worn out. And I just felt like I was literally stretching my stomach to drink beer. That's how I felt. <laughs> and it was light, light beer. It wasn't even heavy beer. I was like, okay, this isn't even fun for me anymore as far as like the drinking aspect of it. Hang out with my friends, of course, but the drinking part is just starting to become not fun. And... Um, I've told myself when it's not fun, we're cutting back. And also, too, I'm more motivated than ever to get back to, like, my old, like, to get this weight down and to run some decent times. And plus, I do not want to buy new clothes. <laughs> and um, the way that I have to buy new clothes is if I gain more weight. So we're going to stop. <laughs> It's that simple. We're going to stop just because of that alone. So, I mean, put in the comments if you're similar to that, but that's where it is with that. Um, oh, so, I do have a little bit of an update. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Okay. So, let's talk, let's actually, I'm going to add this to another video instead. But anyway... I was going to say something, but we're not going to do that here. We're going to add to a different video. 
Anyway, though, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you get anything out of the content, and um, I'll have more um stuff going on as far as like what races I'm gonna be doing in the future, and um, because I do have a oh, the other content update. I forgot to mention this. I not content update, but other update that's related to the Get Fit with Me series presents accountability. Sorry, it's been a while. I'm getting rusty when it comes to this thing, but. I did sign up for a half marathon in September in Maine at in Arcadia National Park. I've always wanted to do a national park run and I am so excited because <laughs> also too, I'm going to eat good. I'm going to eat good. Okay. And it's just in the right amount of time because I'm still going to be training for my 50K so I could do a long run within that and also have, get some really good seafood too. I am going to go ahead and continue to working during the week while I'm like over there. But yeah, I'm excited. I just had to say something about it because I am super pumped that that's going to be a thing. But anyway, um, you'll get content on that um, shortly. So that'll be the next um, Seeing Things Differently series. Um, but also to, that also means we're going to focus more on speed work. <laughs> so that's going to be another thing that's going to be added to the Get Fit With Me series presents accountability is me talking to you about speed work and how it's either awesome or also how much it sucks. And side note, I forgot to also mention when I did the 10K after the first mile, because again, I mentioned I was hungover. I literally had to turn that to 400s. I did 400 repeats for the rest of the race for five miles. I did five miles worth of 400 repeats with a minute walking break in between. It got done though. I ran a decent time. So <laughs> for those who know, when I ran my fastest marathon, which was a sub four hour marathon, I did that as speed work as well. I treated that as um, mile repeats. I did mile repeats that whole entire time. Especially as soon as my watch got all wonky running through the loop and through the tall buildings and skyscrapers. I was like, you know what? We're just going to do that. Because that was the only way that I was not going to like get overly into the surge of running fast, running through the loop. So... Um, also, too, let me know when it comes to Get Fit With Me Series Presents Accountability if you do want me to talk about past races I've done. Um, because I do find them interesting, but I don't know if everyone finds that interesting. But I do, but that's also because I'm a runner. Um, but let me know if you're into that idea of me talking about that or not. Anyway, that does conclude this video. I was trying to wrap it up before. I'm, I promise I'm wrapping it up this time. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Runner. I will see you next time. Bye.